my understanding, you invest 2%. I'll stop you right there. Nothing we do is investing, so it's co-vesting. So I'm just gonna rephrase and say, you co-vest 2%, but you do not get that. Instead, it is redirected back into the secure vault and we are allowed to borrow against it. Correct. Because in order for you to access what is not yours, you must borrow it, right? So we have to understand the difference between both jurisdictions, right? And I'm gonna clear the board a little bit, try and explain this a little bit further. And trust me, this this is um, very, very high level intelligence, right? It's gonna take some time to really get it, to really grasp it. This is commercial. This is where you live, Stacy. Your whole life is regulated by commercial, even the church you attend, more than likely. And this is the Ecclesia, okay? Anything that I own in my name, Denzel Rodriguez, Stacy Hardwood, right? Anything you own in your name, Stacy, is subject to taxation according to the UCC code, right? It is also what you have to understand when you die, Stacy, everything you acquired in your name, Stacy Hardwood in all caps, belongs to the US government. It does not belong to your family. The only way you can ensure in this jurisdiction that your wealth will be transferred to your heirs, you need a trust, you need a will, you need a business, right? You need these protective layers to ensure that your wealth gets transferred because you're saying, I own this, Stacy Hardwood. This is my business. I made this money. I work 40, 50 hours a week. Everything I own is mine. Okay, you can live like that in commercial jurisdiction. Have fun, right? No problem. I'm, I'm, I'm not against it. I'm just saying there could be a potentially much better opportunity that lies ahead. Right. So here's what happens. Anything that you move, Stacy, over here, you are engaging in what's called a covenant. Right. And you're saying in the covenant this is how it goes. I love you. I want to. I give to you. I love you. I want to. I give to you. I give 100 percent. I am recognizing my king, my true king. In commercial jurisdiction, your king is a little g, little g the government in this kingdom is big G because he's a big G he's the OG right so I'm recognizing that none of what I do here is mine but how do I protect it from evildoers how do I protect it from those that want to take what is not theirs how do I righteously protect it boom you come over here in covenant right now here's the problem Stacy as 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 fine as that is and spiritually and righteous as that makes sense that's all fine and dandy but how the heck do I live over here if I move all my money over here? That doesn't make sense. I'm going to go broke following God, essentially. And that's literally what's happening. You are technically going broke. Why? The goal that the wealthy do, this is what they do. The ultra wealthy. They own nothing, Stacy, but they control everything, Stacy. I mean everything. Everything you eat, everything you drink, everything you buy. My goodness, they own it all. I mean, they, they control it all. It is owned by no thing. No thing owned by no thing. What is a no thing? Well, that could be a business, an entity. So the entity owns the thing, but the human controls the thing, stewards the thing, manages the thing. Follow me? So now, Stacy, let's say you're like, okay, cool, Denzel. Want to move forward. I start moving my money over here. This money starts working over here, starts generating, you know, cash flow vehicles over here. Great. Now, in order to access it without taking constructive ownership of what you gave, because you could do that, right? Let's say you, you, you started saving thousands of dollars over here. And then all of a sudden you find out that the people running the Ecclesia are evil, um, unrighteous. They're running a sex trafficking ring. They're drug lords. They're cartel. They're just the most evil doers on planet Earth and they're abusing God's word. Trust me, that exists, right? Take a look at the Vatican. Uh oh, I just offended some people, right? So anyways, that happens. You move your money out. Well, now it goes back into your ownership and now you're back to subject of taxation unless you're smart within this realm and you can put it into different vehicles to get out of that tax, that taxable situation, right? So let's say 
you found righteousness. You did your homework. You did your due diligence. Not only are you a part of that righteousness, that, that ecclesia, but you're also managing the very things that go on in here. So you you got eyes on it. So you're seeing what's going on. But then you're like, wait a minute, as this money grows, how do I leverage it and use it over here? Well, it would be the same, very similar to velocity banking or infinite banking. You borrow against it and pay nothing in cost. So you borrow against it in the name of the Ecclesia, in the name of Jesus, I borrow against God's asset. And I'm now going to leverage my skills, gifts, and talents in the world but not of it, right? Because you operate over here. So now you're operating over here with your LLCs, your businesses, right? Same thing, not telling you to get rid of none of that. Keep it all. Keep your businesses, keep your keep your job, keep your career, keep, keep that cash flow flowing, right? Keep it all, right? But then when it comes to storing wealth, right? So you borrow from here, you operate in here, you create cash flow, you redirect what you use, right? Let's say you paid off a car with the asset that you borrowed over here this asset is growing at say four to six percent or higher and you saved eight percent on your car and you recaptured five hundred dollars in cash flow okay now send the five hundred dollars cash flow back to the ecclesia and your net cost you offset it no taxes are generated here because guess what according to commercial code a loan not taxable you can't tax loans. You can't tax debt, right? Strategically leveraging God's jurisdiction. Let me know if that made sense, Stacey. Let me know if that was clear. Okay.